right, Greg Burns. Thank you very much. Hello. Are they both of you well? Yay! Are you drunk? Yay! Yeah, you should be drunk. Good on you. deserve to be drunk. Well done. This is what a comedy audience should look like. Drunk. <laughs> no, I'm serious. I went to a comedy club in America recently, right? I wasn't on. I thought, I'll just go and have a look what it's like. Check this out, right? I was paying at the door to go in. The guy on the door goes, sir, you do realise if you come in here, it's a two-drink minimum. <laughs> what? He goes, if you come in here, you have to drink at least two alcoholic drinks. I'm like, mate, I'm from England. <laughs> I drank more than that in the bath getting ready. <laughs> Some gossip magazine, like is there equivalent to like Heat or something, right? There's some American actor, I think he's from Desperate Housewives or something. He's just gone into rehab after he went on a three-day binge. <laughs> yes, exactly, my people. <laughs> In America, three-day binge rehab. England, three-day binge, bank holiday weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Like Prince Harry. Do you know what it is about Prince Harry? This is you can't quite put your finger on. There's no real reason why you'd love him, but we do. And there's something about I tell you what I like about Prince Harry, right? He's always the same look. Even when he's a little lad to when he's now, doesn't matter what he's doing. To me, Prince Harry always looks like he's only just got up. <laughs> and I kind of like that, you know? He's got because he's got the sort of rosy cheeks, like a toddler that's had a nap. He's got the slightly ruffled hair, hasn't he? Whenever I see Prince Harry, I always imagine he's just done this, he's gone. Whew. It's mine. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> I'll tell you, the most humiliating thing that ever happened in the gym was actually in the changing room. When I went in the changing room, right, it was just me and one other bloke. Now you think, oh, go on, grow up, it's not that embarrassing. But for some reason, it just felt a bit odd in this particular changing room. Just me and one other man in this changing room, right? Because we kind of went in at the same time, but we were doing everything in unison. So we've come out of the shower about the same time. Like, oh, yeah. Bit awkward, never mind. <laughs> this is the awkward thing, though. He wasn't getting dressed. I'm just sort of ignoring it. I'm getting dried and he's just staying naked. I'm getting dressed and he's still staying naked. I'm putting my pants on, he's still naked. Right? I put my trousers on, this guy's still naked. I'm like, this is real awkward. I'm ignoring it. I can see it out of the corner of my eye, though, right? And then I put my shirt on. This guy's still naked. I put my jacket on. I thought, well, I'm going in a minute. It's not my problem, right? I, I'm fully dressed. This guy is still naked. I'm about to go, but then I think I realise what the problem is when, as I pick up my bag, underneath my bag, my boxer shorts... <laughs> oh. But I said the worst possible thing you could ever say to another naked man in a Soho changing room. I just went, I think I've got what you're looking for. <laughs> so I'll go to somewhere a little bit different, not just a club, I'm going to go somewhere different. Do you know what I did? I went to a jazz club. <laughs> yeah. Now, there's a couple of things I didn't know about jazz. First of all, it's shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's absolutely awful. It's terrible, right? Basically, you've got four different blokes playing four different instruments and four different tunes at the same time. <laughs> you think, that's not jazz, it's just not rehearsing, right? <laughs> the only way I could amuse myself is to think of different scenarios in my head. Right? I'm trying to think of different things going on, because everyone's doing the faces, they love it, they love the jazz. <laughs> so I'm trying to think of different ways and trying to amuse myself doing it, right? So I'm trying to pull jazz faces. I'm doing what they're doing, but I'm thinking of different things. So this, this is what you do, right? You think of, first of all, right, jazz face number one, You've got to imagine you've just seen a little cat being run over. <laughs> Jazz face number two, you've got to imagine you've just seen a little cat being run over, but now you're also playing invisible darts. Jazz phase number two, that jazz phase number three, very important, right? Jazz phase number three is when the saxophone kicks in. You've got to love the saxophone. Jazz phase number three, saxophone kicks in. You've got to imagine you've just passed out in a pub and someone's asking if you need a cab home.
I found Jazz.